Weather on the A's with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Hi everyone, good morning. It is 618. Here are the snowfall accumulations for you through today. We should see one to three inches across much of the Susquehanna Valley here in the white or lighter blue actually. And then uh, as you see the powder blue colors, two to four inches, that is generally west of I-81. So that's where we could see some isolated higher totals, especially in the higher terrain. Here's the News 8 Storm Team forecast from Bronx, Lancaster County. Morning snow has already overspread the area and it will continue through the lunch hour, but then quickly taper to flurries by evening. There could be a few still lingering snow. Snow showers or pockets of flurries, but that will do little to add to our one to three inch accumulation. Today's highs eventually getting into the 20s, but right now we are in the teens. Tonight, mostly cloudy, cold, and brisk. Snow is long gone, but with that fresh blanket of snow, temperatures are going to easily drop into the teens, and we'll see wind chills right around the single digits. For tomorrow, scattered snow showers are likely throughout the day. Look at these highs barely making it into the low 20s. Add blustery winds, wind chills will stay in the single digits throughout the day tomorrow. Live in York right now, not much of a wind to be concerned with here. It's only at 5 miles per hour, but hey, it's still enough to make the feel like temperature 10 degrees with the actual thermometer reading 17. Light snow is falling everywhere in the Susquehanna Valley. It's very fine, it's very powdery. And with temperatures like this in the mid-teens, it'll easily stick to any surface out there. Please use extreme caution this morning on your morning commute. Let's take a look. Super Doppler 8, everybody's seeing the snow, and this will keep up through about lunchtime today. After that, this quick moving clipper will be off the East Coast, and snow showers will taper only to scattered flurries or a couple of lingering patchy showers around. Here's the predictor showing us that trend. You can see the snow quickly ending this evening. Overnight, not a snowflake to be found. We are going to be dry and partly to mostly cloudy. Watch what happens tomorrow, though. As a reinforcing shot of colder air drops in, we could see scattered snow showers with a little bit of additional accumulation in spots. And this is going to be the coldest air of the season that arrives late tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Thursday, though, should be mostly sunny and cold with high temperatures only getting to 20. Let me show you the wind chills here. I'll stop the clock tomorrow uh, morning for you. You can see that wind chills will be right around the upper single digits. By tomorrow evening, wind chills go below zero and stay below zero through Thursday morning. So Thursday morning on the way to school, on the way to work, whatever your destination may be, that will be the coldest morning of the week. Here's the extended forecast, and the numbers don't improve very much over the next few days. We'll stay solid, solidly in the 20s with a 30-degree reading in there on Friday. For the weekend, temperatures moderate a bit. Saturday and Sunday don't look too bad, but Monday is the hot spot there. 36. <laughs> hot spot. Yeah, well, 36. That's a way to look at it. <laughs> being optimistic. We're finally getting back to seasonal averages, and that is 36 for this time of the year, but it is going to be a rather Arctic chill here over the yeah, next couple bet. of days. Yeah. Yeah, I'll All say. Right. Christine, All right. thanks. Thank you, Christine.